Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette. Um, so I have not been on YouTube in a while and two videos back I mentioned that there was something going on in my life and I couldn't talk about it then. But as you can see, I am not in my I Kill Chickpeas kitchen that you might be familiar with. I am in fact in my own apartment. Um, I filed for divorce a while back and Eric and I were just not compatible and I was not happy for a very long time and I finally had the courage to move forward and take that step and file for divorce. So he decided to keep the house and I decided to get my own apartment and I moved in here like two days ago. You can probably hear my voice echoing because I have no furniture yet and my kitchen has hardly anything here. I really just have a microwave. I have my plates and silverware. I don't even have my pots and pans here yet. And I apologize that my voice sounds like this. I have a cold. It's winter here. I get one every single year. So I am much happier now. I'm on a much better path in life and I'm really looking forward to the rest of my life. And I really like my little apartment and I think it's gonna look really cute once I get everything kind of cozied up a little bit. But one thing about this place is it's got a very tiny kitchen. I have like a galley style kitchen. Um, it's very small, I mean very tight quarters here. And what I wanna do on this channel now is show you that you can cook wholesome, healthy, plant-based meals and you don't need a big gourmet kitchen or a lot of equipment to do it. As I've been packing up the stuff at my other house and moving in here, I've been decluttering and paring down quite a bit and I realized that I really don't need as much stuff to live as I thought I did. I'm not a minimalist by any stretch of the word. I just have been getting rid of things that have been sitting in the basement or in my cabinets for years that I forgot were there. Um, so I'm really paring down and, and having just what I need. And so I really look forward to doing more of these videos to show you that you really don't need a whole lot to make some good healthy meals for yourself. So I'm still packing things up from the other house. Um, I haven't brought any of my pantry goods over here or any of my frozen or fresh foods yet. Um, and I've been eating takeout for the past couple of days. Um, now that I have my microwave set up and I got my dishes here, I can at least do things that you can cook in the microwave. Um, so I went to Wegmans this morning and I got a small grocery haul just to kind of get me through until I can get all of my other food products here. Um, so let me show you what I picked up this morning because I tried to pick things that I could cook in the microwave or that were already cold and I could just, you know, grab and eat something so that I wasn't doing takeout all the time. So I went to Wegmans this morning and I picked up some clementines, uh, bananas, and a lemon. And Wegmans makes vegan cookies, so I picked up, um, I don't know, maybe six vegan cookies for a treat. I got some almond milk and a giant vat of roasted red pepper hummus and a little thing of these mini peppers some carrot chips, a box of spring mix, and blueberries and raspberries. I got these as a treat. Yes, they have oil. No, they're not the healthiest option, but I just wanted something to snack on. And I picked up some veggie sushi for lunch. And then we're lucky enough to have a prepared foods area at the Wegmans I go to, so I got some Brussels sprouts, um, butternut squash with spinach and cranberries, some beets, and some broccoli. On to the dry goods, I have a bag of these potato flakes, which I absolutely love, and I have lived on these for the last couple of months now. They make really good mashed potatoes, and what I'll do is put some nutritional yeast, garlic, salt, dill, and chives in there, and it's just really, really yummy. I picked up a jar of salsa, and a jar of black bean dip, which is really tasty. One can of black beans. I got these um, kind granola bars, again, just for something quick to grab if I had to snack on something. They are not vegan, they do have honey in them, um, but I do eat a little bit of honey here and there. I got a couple packages of these steamable um, brown rice, quinoa, and lentils. And then I like these um, Quaker oats. Um, they're really easy to make. You just put um, boiling water in them or I think you can cook them in the microwave too. So I get this one and the apples and cinnamon and then I'm going to try a couple of these. These are a little bit more hearty because they have fruit and seeds in them. Um, so they're a little bit more calorie dense but I thought I would try 
um, a couple of those. I love these um, crunchy chickpeas. Again, they do have oil in them, but until I can get going here in my kitchen and make my own stuff, um, I'm gonna have to be okay with a little bit of oil here and there. And then I got these McDougal soups and little meals. Um, so this one is tortilla soup. This is the hot and sour, which I really like. Um, here's black bean and lime. And these are two little meals. So this one is black beans and rice. And this one is the lentil couscous. So really, I just picked up a lot of stuff that is really easy to prepare in a kitchen that doesn't have a whole lot going on yet. All right, so here is my kitchen. It's a galley style kitchen. And as you can see, it's very limited on space, but I am really looking forward to trying to utilize the space, you know, as best I can and to come up with some great uh, recipe videos for you guys. Okay, so I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know that I had not fallen off the face of the earth. Um, and I really appreciate everybody who has reached out to make sure that I'm doing okay. I'm doing great, I'm doing more than okay. Um, I'm very happy and I have a lot of life ahead of me. I'm really looking forward to everything that lies ahead and I have some wonderful things going on in my life right now. So yeah, things are, things are going well. So, all right, I think that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing, um, you know, before I kind of get fully moved in here and have to rely on some convenience items. But anywho, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.